Hi, I'm James. This is Simone. Welcome to Minerva Tech Talk. So we've been a master distributor of Motorola solutions since 2009. And um, what we want to talk to you about today is some of the questions that we get asked on a day-to-day -day basis. So you mentioned licensed and unlicensed. Where would you differentiate and where would you use the different type of radio? It's a good question. We all we get a lot of queries for unlicensed radios, which is very inappropriate. They're trying to use it for, for things where you should never use an unlicensed radio. Unlicensed radios are fine, they may operate correctly in a location on a specific day, but they're not guaranteed to operate. So it might operate today and tomorrow, it's not going to operate because you have someone else coming into that area using your frequency. And the frequent, it's a very small set of frequencies that are available to unlicensed radios. And people can roam around the region using the radios wherever they want because they haven't obtained a license from the TRA that permits them to use that frequency in that area. So. The people who I would advise to use unlicensed radio would generally be shops and restaurants. It's not, not a critical communications tool. If it doesn't work or if there's interference, their day-to-day -day operations can progress as normal. Okay, excellent. I mean, another question I get asked, are licensed free radios illegal? What's the, what's the regulations here in the UAE? License-free radios in the UAE are not illegal. They are they've recently made, made made legal, and we work with Motorola Light as a product that we support in this region to fulfil that marketplace. Okay, so specific people recommend business light, but more mission critical, you'll be using a licensed radio. Yes, yeah, like like we've said, we believe shops, uh, the restaurant restaurants. Uh, not hospitalities, not hotels, because hotels are quite big buildings. A license-free radio is not going to work throughout a building. It will work throughout a shop, it will work throughout a restaurant, it will permit the back office, the, the, the front uh, staff, the front door staff to speak to the back office for reservations uh, or for security or whatever their day-to-day -day communications are. It's not guaranteed uh, and it won't go far. So they're the, the, the critical considerations to take in hand when understanding if you want to go unlicensed. Okay, what I've been receiving a lot of calls about lately is, do you have a license free ATEX radio? Does Motorola have that? No. ATEX radios, like this radio in DMO, and Motorola have ATEX radios in Tetra and in DMO and in Analog. That ATEX radio is used in a hazardous environment. Generally, oil and gas in this region is a hazardous environment, and if you're in a processing plant for oil and gas, you need to use an ATEX radio. If I'm working in an oil and gas plant, my communications are critical. They need to work all the time. They may need to be encrypted. Unlicensed cannot offer any of the requirements that that industry need for the day-to-day -day communications. So it's wholly unacceptable to use unlicensed radios in an ATEX environment. It's also illegal. Okay. I mean, you mentioned oil and gas there. I mean, if you were going into an oil and gas company, would you be talking about Tetra or would you be talking about DMR? That very much depends on their needs. What do they want out of the radio system? What functionality do they need? Do they want to interconnect with their rotor systems? What have they got in their other, in their other locations? It's very much driven by the customer's needs. Both Tetra and DMR are very suitable for oil and gas uh, communications networks, but we would tailor the solution, depending on size would be one, one of the critical uh, points, um, uh, and what they have in other locations. So we would tailor the solution to meet their needs. And generally oil and gas, they're, they're professional, professional bunch of people. They know what they want before they come to us. Um, and generally, they'll come to us with a requirement, uh, we look at it, we'll tell them if the requirement is overkill, because we don't like to oversell at Minerva, we like to provide a solution that best meets your needs. So the customer will drive it, but we will advise them. 
So thank you so much for your time today. I hope we've been able to add some value. We've answered some of your questions and your queries. If you have anything else you're not sure about, contact us below. Our contact details are here. James, have you anything to add? If you have any questions on a new or existing Motorola DMR system, don't hesitate to contact us. We're here to help you. So from James and I, it's Tech Talk out.